Hi, this is Kiyomi Emmy with IndieExpress.com, and I'm here with Gort Spielman, who is the writer and the director of Revanche, correct? That's correct, yeah. yeah. Your film is um, incredibly, I think, I want to say innovative in a way of the character development. So can you describe some of the characters uh, to us um, and tell us what their, their sort of messages that you want to say in this film? Oh, what a complicated question! <laughs> why don't we start? Why don't we start with? Why don't we start with the describing some of the characters in the film? Uh, the characters in the film. Maybe I, I try to to say it in a general way. Okay. I uh, don't believe in black and white, and I don't mean the color of the skin. I mean the judgment and the pre just uh, justices to to people. So uh, I would say there's nobody really bad and. Nobody really good in my movie. It, it, it has to do with uh, some people being connected by a tragic uh, accident, a young uh, woman, a young prostitute being killed after a bank robbery. And uh, the story tells about her lover, her boyfriend, uh, the bank robber, who suffers by that uh, loss of his love. And on the other side, about the policeman who, who um, by chance killed her, and how he has to uh, to deal with that with that uh, uh, tragic incident. And well, it's a story, and I think uh, uh, it's a story about loss, about uh, revenge about love, about searching for the sense of life somehow, which is a very important thing to do, because uh, as I think it exists. When you were writing the script and you were developing each character and you were developing the storyline, did you base it on anybody that you met along the way in your life? Well, yes and no. <coughs> Fantasy is not something abstract outside of your life, you know. You're influenced by everything you... Uh, by everything... Uh, by each experience, you're influenced by everyone you meet. Maybe I get influenced by you, talking to you now, you know. Maybe there will be some uh, some small things I... I I realized at that moment in, in the next movie, but uh, <coughs> I never know, and I'm not that interested in in finding out uh, where the influences come because they just happen. You know, you can you can believe in them. You can you can just be concentrated on the story and and what what happened to you and what's important to you. It will come out. Uh, you don't have to to take care too much. You just have to be concentrated on what you do, then then it happens. You also write for the stage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And what's, what is your, is your process different for writing for the stage versus writing for a film? Uh, <coughs> well, writing for stage language is much more important mm -hmm. because on stage language, the dialogues are uh, the, the, the basic thing in in a movie, the, the the pictures are important. So, uh, in uh, thinking in in literary terms, it's mu it's more asking to write for stage because uh, a play really is a piece of literature, as a screenplay is just a working basis uh, for a movie. So, uh, yeah, that's the difference. I would say. Do you think you're your own uh, cri worst critic in a way of your own writing? But me? Are you your own worst critic when it comes to your development and writing and, and of your pieces? Well, from time to time, yes. <laughs> and there are other times where, where I am quite kind to myself. Good. And I prefer that, Good. speaking <laughs> frankly. Now, y you shot the all of the film in... Where did you shoot the film, mostly? Uh, Revanche, this mm -hmm. one, in Austria, in, in, in Vienna, mm -hmm. 
it plays uh, partly in the city and partly in a kind of lonely countryside landscape. Uh, I shot it in Vienna and in a very beautiful uh, landscape about two hours away from Vienna. And how long did the movie take to make? Uh, this one was very, very fast. Really? Yeah, I started to write the screenplay in... When did I start? I think it was... From the very beginning, uh, the beginning to write until the film was finished, it was two years, oh, which is very fast, yeah. Very fast, yeah. Because it financed very fast and and everything was fast. It was a kind of miracle, you know. Cosmos helped us, yeah, so good. it worked. <laughs> it worked very well in that case. What uh, would your advice be to a new independent filmmaker? Do that what you love. And how about the finances? Because I always ask this question and people say, money, don't do it, da da da. So wh how would you give any advice about actually getting funding for films? Because it seems like you have funding pretty quickly. <laughs> Uh, I cannot give special advice because I don't know the the, the scene in the United States mm -hmm. that well. But I can give one, I can say something. When you really believe in what you want to do, when you really believe in, in it, and <coughs> then you will get, then it will, then it will be made. Then you will get the money. And really, to believe in does not mean to believe in success. It means to believe in the truth of what you're working on, and when you when you have that belief, you you get the money, and then it it will be made. H however, good, good. Well, it was lovely to speak to you. Thank you very much for stopping by, and it was a pleasure. And best of luck with your film and all of your success with everything, stage and screen. <laughs> the pleasure was all mine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. And this is Kiyomi Emi with IndieExpress.com.